Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Bailey Evan here and I have been doing a lot of online shopping uh, in the past few months. I always do a lot of online shopping but it's really been kicked up a notch. It's like all I have to look forward to right now. Uh, first I wanted to share some black owned businesses that I bought from a while ago and they've all arrived now i was waiting for one last thing to come in because i had gotten it on pre-order so we'll actually start with that it's this hyper clear skin brightening clearing vitamin c serum by hyper skincare i'm really excited to try this because i've been looking for a vitamin c serum that i really love and i apologize in advance that there are a lot of skincare items in this little collective haul we have going on but very excited to try that the two other things I have from black owned businesses I had actually already dabbled in. The first are these KNC Beauty all natural retinol infused eye masks and they are the cutest. I will insert a clip of these. They're little shooting stars and you put them under your eyes and they're glittery and honestly I don't know if these do anything. I already use a prescription grade retin retin A tretinoin and these have retinol in them so but it has other things as like glycerin, collagen, aloe, grapeseed oil, blah, blah, blah. It has some hyaluronic acid, which is very moisturizing. But really, these are just so cute. And you can get a cute Instagram photo with them. Next up is from The Coop NYC. And it's these beautiful candles. I actually have four. I have Silk, Mercer Street, Ocean Drive. And I have Daybed burning right behind me. And I have already <laughs> burned down a lot of these. I love them all. I couldn't pick a favorite. Ocean Drive is like a nice, like, fruity, summery scent. But not it's not fruity in a synthetic way. It's just super nice and kind of reminds me of Florida, actually. And then Silk is, like, sweet. I like to burn this one in my bedroom. It's brown sugar, almond, sweet fig. Oh, and sorry, Ocean Drive specifically is coconut, mango, and sea salt. And then Mercer Street is Jasmine, Vetiver, White Cedar, and Soft Musk. This one's like a little more sexy. And then Daybed is Bamboo, Teakwood, Sandalwood, Pink Himalayan, Sea Salt. And I really like that one as well. They're all great. Like, honestly, scent is so personal. So I guess it's just whatever one speaks to you. But I love them all. So next up, I wanted to share some Aesop things I got. I'm a huge fan of Aesop. Like, I know it is ridiculous to spend $40 on soap. And basically what I do is I just will get one thing of soap and then refill it with cheap ones, which I know, like, it's stupid. It's not even a glass bottle. It's a plastic bottle that their soap comes in, but I just love the bottle. And nothing lives up to the actual soap. I have the reference one, and it's the kind that has the little grit in it. It is the best soap you will ever use in your life. Just hand soap, guys, but it is so good. So I wanted to get a few more products from them, and I got these post-poo drops. This is, like your bougie poopery. Now lately I have been buying a container of poopery from Ulta that comes in this kind of like watercolor looking glass and it costs 20 and this costs 30 so it's a little bit more but this one smells way less synthetic and oh, it's so good it just smells like orange rind. It says it has tangerine peel, yeah, lang lang, did I say that? I have no idea how to say that, and mandarin peel so it definitely has that citrusy vibe to it and it's just delicious and you it says to put these post poo but I recommend a pre poo drop just like you would with poopery then I got this room spray it's called O L O U S aromatic room spray and it's galbana never heard of that grapefruit and jasmine this has a very fresh like green smell to it um, and I haven't even mentioned yet that these two, they came in this kit. So it came with this cute little box and it came with a bar soap um, that I've used. It's actually in my shower right now and it's just like a regular bar soap. It says Aesop on it. And I thought this was a good deal because these two items together on their own cost $83. I believe, no, they cost $80. And then this, though, I got the bar soap and this container for 83 So I thought that was just like a way better way of doing it. And then when you order from Aesop, they always throw in a few samples, which is lovely. And since I was just showing you my Aesop container, I thought I would show you some Lush bath bombs I got. I have the grossest bath. It is like peeling off. I need to redo my whole bathroom. It's not cute, but to make it a little bit cuter, you can't go wrong with 
a bath bomb and I just had it I hadn't had one in a while. Usually I get these for Christmas or my birthday and I had just run out a while ago. So I just like kind of went crazy and I've already used two of these. But um, I got, I think this one is called Goddess Choco Mint. This was the Dino one. I used half of it and the little Dino inside. This one's a crown. I got this little melting oil thing. I've never tried one of their melting oils and I've never tried one of their bubble things that has a stick. Um, and then I also had the Ambrosia exfoliant, which was really nice, but it, it kind of all disintegrates pretty quickly. Um, and the girl in the store told me to break it in two before using it, but I couldn't break it in two without making a huge mess. It got all over the bottom of that, but I just love Lush and no, it's like so stupid to take a $10 bath. bath. All of this is me just justifying like the things that bring me joy that cost too much money. And I don't know why having a spa like experience just brings me so much joy maybe it's because my bathtub is so disgusting that this just it just ups the vibe I don't know I again I have no rhyme or reason or can explain you why I spend what I do on what I do but here we are now moving on to a little homemade good my sister and I I think in one of our previous videos we had a clip where we tie-dyed some shirts we got from Walmart and we saved the scraps where we cropped them and Kenzie made them into scrunchies. She like got out her sewing machine and she hadn't sewed since her like home ed class in seventh grade and this was the end result and they're super cute. All right, next up, this is from Nordstrom Rack. It is a little visor. A few of these visors are actually uh, inspired by Sivan Ayla. She's a blogger. She's like one of the only influencers on Instagram I actually follow um she has her own version of this maybe I should have bought hers but I saw this for like $12 on Nordstrom Rack and I've been wanting a way I love wearing a hat when I go out in the sun but I wanted a way to be able to put my hair in a bun and when you have just a regular sports cap on it doesn't work as well so there's this little visor moment it's really comfy it's nice because it has this little removable terry cloth thing in the front so I like that because that way if you like sweat on this, you can wash it. Because I always do sweat on my hats and they get real, real disgusting. Next up is another Sivan Ayla inspired by. I didn't realize that these are considered like the influencer glasses until I went to dinner with my friends and they were like, these are the glasses that every single influencer has. So am I a real influencer now, guys? No, I'm not. But these are really cheap on Amazon and... They're lightweight, they're just plastic, they're just cheap ones. I just wanted a pair other than my Ray-Bans. Again, when I'm just out by my pool and, you know, not treating them well, getting like tanning uh, sunblock all over them. So I just thought these were a good little compromise. And, you know, I love supporting small businesses and I'm, I'm ashamed of myself that there's not as many small businesses in this as I would like. Obviously, first and foremost, like support the black owned businesses. But I just wanted to be honest with you guys and share what I've been buying lately. And I do have another small business coming up in a little bit. We'll get to that. Speaking of small businesses, this company, Tree Active, sent me acne eliminating face cream and cystic acne spot treatment. I have not got a chance to try these yet. I just got them today. But it's nice because they're like a vegan cruelty free company and they're made in Florida. And I thought it was so nice that they sent me things because I, I don't think I've ever really been sent anything before. So very exciting. This I got in Sally's the other day and I just wanted to share it with you guys because I have been wanting one of these and they sell them at like La Ossetan and stuff for expensive. But it's these little things that you can put on your tubes to uh, get them to roll down. You know like if you have toothpaste or something like the metal tubes are the worst where you can't get everything out or like a hand cream. So I just got one of these little twisty things. This is my Renee actually, speaking of Renee we were talking about earlier. And then you can twist it down and get every little last bit of, of product out. So I thought that was exciting. Again, it was super cheap at Sally's. These are some skincare things I recently picked up. I wanted to get some more Ulta sunscreen. That's my favorite sunscreen of all time. I've talked about it on here a million times, talked about it on my blog talked about it on my podcast and so I wanted to try their PM therapy which is just I wanted just a nighttime facial moisturizer and I've really been liking this one so far I think I've been using this for about a month and it's just been great so far and I've just I've never met an Ulta MD product that I don't love I love them all 
Then I picked up these things because I've been watching What's on Bee's Face on TikTok. I love her. I want her to be a guest on my podcast. She didn't recommend this particular serum and actually she probably wouldn't even like this particular one. But again, this was like a Florida company and I wanted to try a niacinamide. So that's what this is. This is supposed to help kind of reduce the appearance of pores, help with hyperpigmentation, both of which I would like to do. As we know, you can't really change your pore size, but we'll give this a try. Usually I think it takes a month or two for nias niacinamide to do its thing, but we'll see. And then I love putting on Vaseline on my face, but I wanted one that was just um, a little, like, I don't know, I like how this is a squeezy container, basically, instead of dipping my nasty fingers into a Vaseline tub. Not that my fingers are nasty, but you know, there's bacteria on our hands. So I liked the idea of this one because it's in a little squeezy tube and CeraVe products are great. And I like to use this as like the very last thing I put on my face before I go to bed, just to seal everything in, like use it as an occlusive and keep everything plump because I have very, very dry skin. And I feel like when I use something like that or Vaseline on a regular basis, it really helps my skin. Okay, next up, this is a little DIY moment. Me, like so many other people, have been really into the DIY over quarantine. So I ordered this, which is supposed to be like a little gun thing to help put on sequins. So it came with all these sequins, and the sequins are great, and it's a special kind of sequin. I think they're called hot stick, that this is supposed to heat up the glue on the sequin and then meld it into fabric. I've been having trouble with this, getting it to work exactly right. So I ended up buying some gym tack and actually I needed this anyways because I wanted to bedazzle these puppies and I couldn't, that tool is for fabric. So this gym tack stuff is really great. I also had this E600. I recommend the gym tack if you're interested in doing a project like this because it dries completely clear. The E600 dries white, which is not as convenient. So I have a podcast called Kinda Cute, and I have two microphones. One is for my guests, one is for the one I record on. And so my guest one was kind of my guinea pig, and she ain't that cute. She's a little bit of a Monet. She looks good from far away, but you don't want to get up too close. Kind of same with my one that I did for Kinda Cute, but I wrote cute on it to represent Kinda Cute, and I love it. It brings me joy every time I record on it. And speaking of kind of cute, if you'd like to listen and subscribe and leave me a written review on Apple Podcasts, I will send you one of these beautiful stickers. Just slide into my DMs on Bailey Evan on Instagram, at Bailey Evan. I'll show it below, link it below, or at Kind of Cute Podcasts, and one of these can be yours. I swear they look very beautiful on a water bottle. I like them on a hydro flask. So that was my DIY moment, and <laughs> then since I was on a bedazzling kick, I decided... I also wanted to do my Air Force Ones. So my Air Force Ones have seen better days. And I was like, you know what, why not? Why not bedazzle these? Because they're not looking that cute anyways. So on the outside, I just kept them normal. And then you got a little fun surprise on the inside. <laughs> and I didn't have enough gems of one color to like do them each the same color. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like good and evil, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I'm losing my mind. Okay. Oh, next up, I got some things from Airy when they were having a sale, and I got this little, it's not the most flattering, but <laughs> it's super comfy, it has little slits in the side, and it feels kind of like, like a worn rag material, if that makes any sense. So it's not like the softest, like a traditional fluffy sense, but it's still soft. And then I picked up some bathing suits, um, I got... This little set, and I got a hot pink situation. I hate when people don't do try on hauls, but I'm sorry guys, I'm just not at that level where I wanna do a try on bikini haul. Um, and I also got a one piece that I will insert a picture of that's also in that tiger print, but brown. And I really like that one. I've actually worn it as a bodysuit a couple times and I really like it. And then I have this Aritzia, they're not sold as a set, but I bought, so it's the TNA Boyfriend Joggers and then the TNA Boyfriend Hoodie, 
which I wanted to have wear this for this uh, video, but when I was doing my makeup, and guys, I was so careful. I even put little paper towels in my neck part so I wouldn't get makeup on it. Well, then I squirted a big blob of Glossier cloud paint on it. So this is all bleached up and needs to go in the wash. But I wanted to show you that because I bought that at the very beginning of quarantine. And obviously Aritzia stuff is so expensive and I don't know if it's worth it, but I tell you those sweatpants are worth it. I've washed these multiple times now. They stay so soft. I liked it in the white because I knew I could just bleach it. I knew I couldn't get a light color that I wouldn't just be able to like bleach the shit out of. Um, I've just been loving them. They're so comfy. I can't describe like the softness of them. I have some sweatpants from ASOS and it's just not the same. And if, as we've already established, I like a spa moment and I like to feel everything soft on my body, you know? So that leads us into our next thing, which is also a small business. And it's a robe from Mason Gray LA. And I will do a try on of that. And it's so soft. Let me go grab it. They were doing a sale over 4th of July. So this isn't probably the color I would have picked, um, but it was just like one of the only ones that was in my sock in my size. It, again, the fabric on this, guys, it's so well made. And I don't know why. they Like, I guess I was just blessed that day manifesting good vibes because they threw in a little eye mask and these go for $25 on the site and these robes are $125 but in the sale I got the robe for $75 and they threw in the mask for free so I just love this I highly recommend I hope you guys liked this incredibly random haul um again support black businesses Brianna Taylor's shooters have still not been arrested let's not forget about that and I hope I will see you in my next video. And remember, listen to Kinda Cute, subscribe, review on Apple Podcasts, and I'll send you a sticker. And subscribe to this YouTube channel, please. I'm trying so hard to get to 200 subscribers, and I feel like I've been trying forever, so it just really mean the world to me. Okay, bye.